How you doing guys? This is Anon21486 and I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas. Or Hanukkah if you celebrate Hanukkah or even Kwanzaa which I don't think there's many that actually do celebrate that. Or Festivus. Yeah, there's just so many things you can wish for. Anyway, um, quite frankly during my um, 11 days of Discord I actually got a request for the first time. Um, by um, a user called Flutterdash to do uh, Don't Stop PMV. So I figured, you know, since this is my first actual request, I would actually do it before New Year's. Now, before I do start the video, I do have a little announcement to make. Um, for the most part, from uh, January, um, sorry, from December 24th through um, shortly after New Year's, we have what's called school vacation here in Massachusetts and since I'm from Massachusetts I'm I mean I know it's everywhere but in Massachusetts um, specifically at my job it gets very busy during the school vacation weeks and because of that I'm gonna be very limited in making these types of videos and in fact I don't think I'm gonna make any other video or release any other video until after New Year's just because I really have no time to react or record or even uh, edit. So, yeah, that's the only announcement I have. Anyway, um, so this is called uh, Don't Stop PMV by The Collaborative. I don't know what it is. For some reason, I'm thinking of Don't Stop Believing. I'm not sure if that's actually the thing, but... That's what I'm thinking right now. And I know a PMV is a pony music video. Uh, considering the fact that the MV abbreviation is basically a parody of AMVs, which is anime music video, which I am a fan of. So I'm very familiar with this. Um, Yeah, I honestly don't know what this is other than the fact that it's a collaborative. So, eh, whatever. Anyway, um... Nothing else to say from that, so without further ado, let the show begin. Oh, sorry, let the PMV begin. Ah, uh, okay, don't f stop Fat Rat Remix. Walk a little walk, small talk, big thoughts, gonna tell them all just what I want. I think you guys just hit my forte, considering, um, yeah, this is actually really well done. Yep. I'm gonna be honest, you hit my forte, cause, um, Anybody that knows me, specifically my other channel, um, Eddie21486, you know I do what's called the AMV reaction, or voters reaction videos, and I do critique on AMV, so, yeah. Um, I do admit, I like the animation. I do like the music, I can lie. One, two, three, close your eyes and count to four. I'm gonna hide behind my bedroom door. Crans on walls, a color on a wall, draw until I've broken every law. Okay, I'll admit, this is really good. Yeah, I'm pretty much just bobbing my head right now. Stop, 
And I just saw Octavia in this live bonbon. Uh, I, I can't even name all these. Octavia! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Every time I see Octavia, I'm gonna be doing that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like the pot of particle effect, so and the fading. Nice touch. Uh what do they do? Don't stop? No. There was an E in there, so it can't be don't stop. The collab? Well, it's a Y. Oh, the collaboratory. Okay. Yeah, that was actually very good. Um I would like to um expand on what I said during the video. Essentially, AMVs are my forte. I do um, uh, critique them for the most part. And I'm very, very picky. So I'm actually going to pause my recording and watch it again, but this time analyze it. Because that's who I am. <laughs> so, um, good job. Um, you, what was it? Flutter Dash. <laughs> because you kind of hit my forte on that one. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back shortly. And I am back, guys. Um, yeah, like I said, this is my forte. And for the most part, yeah, I am going to do the same thing as I do with my AMV um, voters reaction videos. Which is, I am going to talk about the video. Um, for the most part, if you don't know what my AMV voters reaction videos huh I'm gonna post a link and I'm probably gonna put an image on my uh, somewhere on the screen to go directly to those videos as I said on my other channel Eddie 21486 I go to anime Boston and I record uh, the videos for uh, anime Boston Essentially, I'm recording the reactions of the people who are voting, so... Yeah, I mean, it's something I do. It's something I actually like to do and like to continue to do. I mean, there is going to be a time when I'm actually going to have to stop, which I'm not even sure if it's going to be this year, next year, or whatever, but you get the point. Anyway, uh, one thing that I do in those videos other than post it up and show it is that in the description of each video I give a little description of what I think personally of the video and frankly I am gonna do that with this video because why not unlike the other videos though instead of writing it down I'm actually gonna be saying it so yeah uh, what to say about this video or this PMV I should say um, Let's just go down to what I look for in these types of videos, whether it's AMV or PMV. Uh, one thing that I look forward to is, is it enjoyable overall? And I will admit this, yes, this video in particular is very, very enjoyable to watch. But I also go more into detail as in uh, visuals does the visuals match the song in any way and once again yes they do match the song which is very good and it's how should i say very high on my list of critiques basically um what else uh, the music is catchy so that's a plus on that one like I said, the visuals were really good. I did like the fact that they used not only, um, what is it, uh, footage from the show itself, but they also used um, still animations. Yeah, I guess you could say still animations. Or stills, as well as user content. Um, 
animation, which adds a very nice touch. Now, some of the negative things in this. I will admit that it's going to be very, very nitpicky, but some of the animation actually wasn't synchronized with the music. Now, what I mean by synchronized is that um, if you have a beat one, two, three, four, like that, basically, um, when you synchronize a video or footage to that beat, it will match to that beat. So. In this case, um, you have Pinkie Pie taking uh, pictures, right? If anybody remembers those selfies that she did for the family book. What, what is it called? Family yearbook? Scrapbook? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, if anyone's seen that, notice that if you count the beats, you'll notice that each picture she took actually came in on that beat. So. That's something I'm very particular for, because that's kind of my weakness. My other weakness is, um, well, I'll get to that a little later. Um, yeah, continuing on with the synchronization, there's a couple of instances here and there where the beat actually did not match. I did see a lot of um, what I find very common with synchronization problems, which is the imagery or the video will come shortly after the beat of the music like I said it's very common to the point where I can actually point it out however there are some instances in this video particular where the image actually came before the beat which to me is extremely odd because it's not common <laughs> anyway um yeah I think that was pretty much my only big gripe on this um, like I said, it's very, very minor considering the fact that this is a collab, so there's going to be multiple editors making one video. So it's to be expected that there's going to be some things here and there overlooked other than uh, when people do it themselves. Anyway, um, like I'm going to continue on to what my other weakness is. And my other weakness is... Uh, what you call Easter eggs. Essentially, it's little details in the video that were added in by the editors. It could be anything if anybody wants to know. Anime 101 is a great example of Easter eggs where I know for a fact that the editor edited every single poster, every single chalkboard, every single thing in the background for the purpose of the video and I would actually post a um, video slideshow right about now <laughs> anyway so yeah so Easter eggs is one of my weaknesses and the Easter egg I found in this video was on that uh, segment that looked like a box splitting into boxes and then going back into a box flipping around and then there's a rainbow shoots out the Easter egg I'm talking about is that those boxes represent the colors of the pony. Which, you know, makes sense considering that we have six ponies and there were six boxes, six different colors, you know, la da da da. But if you pause the video there, you'll notice that under each color is actually the element that each color represents. So it solidifies uh, the pony, basically. So you have, and it's all an equation too. So it's um, I'm not gonna go in order because I'm not gonna remember it. But it was uh, magic plus oh shoot, magic plus generosity plus loyalty plus you know, just continuing on that. And then at the bottom of that it says equals harmony. Now you probably would not see it because it actually took less than two seconds I think but going through it and doing that yeah you actually notice and that was a nice touch so good job on whoever did that one um anyway um one last note and this is gonna be for my end slate yes I am doing an end slate this time and well yeah so this is gonna be part of my end slate and that is the fact that this AMV in particular actually reminded me of several other AMVs that came out in the past. 
Um, for me, for instance, the first thing I thought when I saw the graphics, even though looking at it again really doesn't match, but it's similar in a way, is uh, Extra Ball by Shin AMV. And because of that, you know, I have to include it in because it reminded me of it. Uh, so on the screen now would be uh, Shin AMV's um, thumbnail, so you can actually go on there. Um, to add to that, if anyone doesn't want to watch the AMV version of it, um, Bash, uh, Basher of Ages actually did a parody of Extra Ball Shin AMV called In Case of Emergency. Oh, shoot, I can't even remember the title, but it's going to be on the screen right about now. And that is actually a PMV version of Extra Ball. So, yeah, you can check that out if you want. Um, other than that, there's two more AMVs that actually reminded me of this in some way or another. Um, the word usage, as in the words popping out in the screen, reminded me of uh, Attack of Otaku. And uh, so in sync, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't remember on the top of my head who created those. But, you know, they'll be on the screen too. So... Yeah, if you like this PMV, I would actually strongly suggest watching those AMVs in that one PMV. You know, just to kill some time. Anyway, this has been Anon21486, signing off.